What up, it's your girl Minna. So in this video, we're gonna be using mostly e.l.f. Cosmetics products to get a full face. I wanted to be able to show you that you can get a bomb full face from the drugstore and a few things that I'm trying out for the first time and I'll, I'll identify all of those for you. I think I have enough for a full face. I might need to sub in a few things and I'll point those items out for you. But make sure you are subscribed and also give this video a thumbs up because obviously like you love it. Most of the e.l.f. products that I'm going to use have been gifted by e.l.f. Thank you for sending these items to me. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I do use a lot of drugstore items, some high-end, but really mainly drugstore. Now that I get a lot of PR, I have more access to higher-end items. Got my damp sponge already. You know that these sponges are five pack, $8 Amazon, link is below. Okay, so first thing I like to do, you know I always do this every video, I prime my lips. So not only do you need to prime your face, you need to prime your eyes, and you also need to prime your lips, or at least I recommend that. So I've always been using this e.l.f. lock on lip primer that that dry it'll get tacky it allows the product to really like soak into the lips and and my lips don't get me getting chapped either i like it i like this a lot i have the e.l.f. matte putty primer and the e.l.f. luminous one i believe it is both of which make me look luminous what i'm saying is it doesn't make me matte now in the winter time will it make me matte i don't know but we've discussed this in my other foundation video and concealer video where the weather outside impacts the way your makeup ends up looking okay i still like to put on a primer and this is I mean it's nice to put on but I wouldn't say that it actually keeps me matte everyone's skin is different so you may try this out and find that it kept you matte so it's worth a shot it's definitely worth a shot so here's the disc and I'm taking some and patting it into my skin focusing it more on the middle of my face makeup is definitely a trial and error so many times when you watch a video and you see that something doesn't work for an influencer you may still want to give it a try because it might work for you and it still doesn't work for you then just return it I like this foundation I reviewed this foundation a year ago I got another one this is the one that's almost done I like it for six dollars yo you can't beat it this is matte the oils of my face they're naturally going to peek through and that's okay and that's normal but this is still a matte foundation it's great this color is dark for me which I like because when I highlight it all comes together this is the color mocha so like I said this is dark I'm using this flat kabuki brush focusing on the middle of the face and then making my way to the outer part of my face when I've gotten most of the product off. I don't want cake around the perimeter of the face. By the time I get to the outer part of my face, I don't have as much product on my brush. Taking some more on this side, focusing on the middle, and add some more, and then come to the outer part of the face. Okay, so I'm gonna highlight with the e.l.f. Cosmetics 16 hour camo concealer, the matte one. I haven't tried the radiant one, I like the matte one. And this is the color Deep Chestnut. I've used this several times also. Focus right here in the front of the eye. Let that part dry. I posted about this recently, hopefully you saw it. Save that post so you can reference back to it. But of course you have my videos to look at. Right here on the side, I don't need to go all the way down, we're gonna bring it down. This dries very quickly. Make sure you watch my concealer video where I explain the different concealers that I have and how they work. Bring it up at an angle. Remember, you have to blend very fast with this concealer. It dries very quickly. Okay, what I don't have is a contour color from e.l.f. That is what I, yeah, I need, oh, I've got to get that. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna contour with my Old Faithful. This is Julia's Place, Congo, and yeah, we go. When you're doing your contour, you do have to bring it into your, your hairline, okay? So you can wash it out when you wash your face in the evening time, but you do have to bring it into your hairline. Not like all the way into your hair, but it does need to go into the hairline at least a bit so that it looks more natural. All right, now it's time for setting powder. I like to use the tan one, and then on my face itself, I'm gonna use the matte setting powder in the color Deep. I've used this matte setting powder with the damp sponge, and it did not go on well. I did not like it. I learned to use it with a brush. I remember someone asked me what the difference was, and that's simply what it is. Some products will go on well with the sponge, others will not, and this is one of them. I had to learn the hard way and I almost ended up not liking the product but then I said let me try this one more time and sure enough it just needs to go on with the brush I'm using a flat fluffy ish kind of a brush keeping my eyes like this so that it doesn't crease I want to set it before the product sinks into the crease so I just press it on take some more product tap off the excess and just press it I'm not gonna bake I don't bake I just press it on and then wipe it off 
Now, you know, I move from the forehead down to the lips at the very end when I do my face. So to set my forehead, I'm going to use the deep version of the setting powder. I have a little bit of the product on the inside of the container. And then I'm using this fluffy powder brush from Judas Place and lightly tapping it. And it's also going to set my contour while I'm at it. So this will bring a little bit of color back to my face, make sure that nothing is harsh and strange looking. I didn't take a lot, but I took enough to set everything down and add a little bit of color. All right, now this is a new bra product I have not ever used. I hope this goes well. This is the Elf Cosmetics Instant Lift Brow Pencil. We got a brush, praise the Lord. What color did I get? Oh, it isn't, oh, here it is, black. Oh God, I got black. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna use this on the tip of my brow, not the front of it. So on the front of my brow, I'm gonna use this Morphe Brow Pencil in the color Java. You know I like to use a darker color on the tips so that everything looks together, you'll see and then use the black to define three quarters of the way out, like halfway and then out, you'll see. Oh, this is like a soft black. Yeah, this is more soft black because I've used darker. Okay, good. All right, this one looks like doo-doo, but we're gonna fix it. <laughs> what are you using on your brows? Comment and let me know. Have you used any of these products that I'm trying? I wanna know as well, because I can tell you, lots of times people feel like they can't get a good look by using drugstore products, and I'm trying to tell you, that, that ain't the truth. I could use this color to clean up the bottom of my brows, but this is pretty light. And I don't know what my other one is, the one that's a little darker than this. So I'm gonna just use my NARS concealer in the color Amand because this one isn't tremendously light. And under my brow, I used to go tremendously light. I used to use the same highlight here under my brow, but it's just too much sometimes. So here we go. This is a little more muted. It's still a highlight though. Okay, so one of the more recent e.l.f. products that had me shook is this putty eye primer. Now, they have it in a few different colors. I like the white one because it'll allow any color you use to really be pronounced. You're gonna, you're gonna get the true color payoff whenever you put a color on top of white. And I like it. This thing dries very quickly, so you gotta move fast. You also don't wanna leave the cap off of the product for too long because it's matte and it dries very quickly. So blend this very fast. Using the finger is best because the warmth of your body will help product blend easier. Now it's time for eyeshadow. It's an interestingly enough, I never had this e.l.f. Paradise, Retro Paradise palette, the 18 piece eyeshadow palette. These colors are gorge. Do you have this palette? Have you ever tried it? You know that no matter what eye look I do, you gotta transition. So in this palette, I'm gonna start off with Caliente. With the, This is the orange. I wanna just see what's happening with this you know i like my crease to be reddish orange so let's do that for a second here i have not used an elf eyeshadow palette in a very long time wow i want to add a little bit of spiced which is a little reddish pink i suppose into the crease this color right here sea salt this silver i'm definitely gonna put this on my inner eye like that color is popping so i'm gonna wait on that that's how i like pick out what i'm gonna wear this blue is beautiful this is the color royal this is the color disc Ooh, disco is cute. Hold on. And this is Sip Sip Aha Mar. That's a cool green type color. Okay, so I like to build up my colors. You know this already. I'm gonna start with coca uh, Coconut, which is a brown. Start with the brown in the crease. This is gonna be a little bit of an intricate look, but of course, if you're a beginner, you can really take two or three of these colors put them on and, and go sit down somewhere. <laughs> Cleaning off my brush and I'm gonna go in with the Caliente and the Spiced again, just right up here. I like a gradient, always, always a gradient. Transitioning downward. I don't like just stark colors on my face, that's weird. So I'm gonna take Royal, which is this dark blue, and put this all over my eyelid because it just, it's standing out. And blue looks so gorge on brown skin. Take your time when you're packing on a color. Like You wanna interchange between patting the color on and then blending it in in a windshield wiper fashion. Look down unless you wanna get product on your face. So I'm mixing the blue in this reddish color and it's making a purple up here, which will help again with the gradient effect because the purple in this palette is light, like a lilac. And now just the color spiced, a lot of blending. You need to have the patience and the time and the care, unless you don't care. <laughs> this is just the blue. I wanna bring it right up in the front of the brow. You could change brushes, but I don't always do that. This was just where the blue was applied and this is where the blue was blended in. Back with this brush right here 
to make sure that the blue is packing a punch. See, I'm gonna go with Disco for right now for a hot second, because I wanna use either Disco or Sip Sip or both. We'll see. So first with Disco with the finger. Shimmers go on really great with the finger and just right here in the middle. Ooh, look at that. This is really iridescent. This is looking green. Wow. Ooh, I like that. Whoa and whoa. It looks blue on the camera, but this looks green in person. That's gorgeous. All right, <laughs> I wanted to put Sip Sip somewhere. Let's do it. Really more toward the bottom here. That made such a subtle difference, but it's beautiful. It's like a peekaboo. Oh yes. All right, this is an LA Girl product. This is called Shockwave Neon Eyeliner in the color Fresh. And now I'm gonna use the color Sea Salt in my tear duct and it's gonna pop. I'm gonna contour with this CoverGirl Full Spectrum Matte Ambition All Day Powder Foundation in the color Deep Cool 4. And then for highlighter, if you saw my Rare Beauty video, which if you haven't, you need to watch it. I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty Liquid Luminizer in the color Transcend. I have really been enjoying the liquid luminizers. I cannot lie, it melts so beautifully. So watch. Damp sponge, taking the back, and it dries fast. Gosh, it looks so natural. It melts right into the skin. I'm all about liquid highlight now. Yes. Getting it down the nose is a little tricky. So let's do that. Gotta pinch this, still using the back of it. Pinch. Now for blush, this is my first time trying this. This is the Elf Cons... Oh, where's the... Okay, the back says nothing, but it's called Always Fiery. I think this was the Primer Infused Blush. Yeah, Always Fiery. Okay, oopsie, pigment, okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah, come on blush. Wow, I don't need to take that much. Oh yeah, oh, this is gonna be in my everyday drawer. I like this, I like an orange-ish kind of blush. Wow, yes for the pigment. I didn't know how much I would need. Now I wanna go and get all these colors. Now I wanna go get all these colors. I'm, I have to get more of these. That was very beautiful. Love that, what do you think? Buying more. Okay, bottom lashes, I'm gonna put a cosmetic superhero cause you know it is my fave for the bottom lashes. Wow, this look is really coming together. I'm excited about it. Okay, the lip, all right? I've got two lip products. I have the Liquid Matte Lipsticks, my first time using this, called Blushing Rose. And then I have the Retro Paradise Dream On Lip Gloss in the color A Moment. I just love how glittery it is, you know? So that is exciting. Now, I need to put a brown lip liner on because that's just a requirement. Watch, let me put this on by itself and show you. Ooh, okay, this is a mauve, all right. I thought it was more pink. It's mauve. Hmm, cute. Keeping that in the middle of my lips because I need to put a liner around it. So for the liner, I'm gonna use Cola Liner from Juvia's Place. And this matches my skin. That dried very fast. And it's lightweight, very thin, but you see the pigment. So it's thin in a good way. I like that. Oh, okay, okay, hold on a second. Let's take down the wig a little bit. Hold on a second. Hold on, let's brush her a little bit. This is a little bit of a moment. Ooh, ooh yes, nice and nice and like glittery. I need more of these too. No, oh, this smells like watermelon. Okay, I'm buying more blush and I'm buying more of these glosses. If there are different colors or if not, just the same one. I'm buying more when I finish the video. Mm. What do you think? <gasps> what do you think? I like how this came out, whoa! Let me find out, I know a thing or two about makeup. Be serious, be serious about yourself because this is very serious. <laughs> this looks good, what do you think, girl? Ooh, I'm feeling it, yes. Mm, 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 mm. And we can't lie, the eyeliner is really, the shockwave is really making it pop. Drugstore, did I use anything that was not drugstore? Ooh, the mascara. But you can easily get away with some drugstore mascara. But other than that, everything was drugstore, right? Make sure you comment and let me know if you love this look. Share it, make sure you subscribe. Tell me which of these products you are absolutely in love with, have already tried, want to try. Thanks for watching, bye.